Hi everybody, I'm here to show you my last guest design team project for Amazing Casting Products. Um, this project had to be an inspirational one and I used a couple different products that they carry and this is one of them and I'll try to fit it in here. I kind of have my um, camera down on a small tripod so that I can film this standing up. But this is um, the clear casting resin. And this stuff I think is awesome. It does take 24 hours to cure and harden, but it is so awesome and so worth working with. And I also use the, the other resin. Um, when it dries, it, it's white. This is what most of us are familiar with that we use. Um, the other product, this I have seen people use to make charms with, and I'm excited. I, I want to start making little charms. I just think they're so cute, and um, I'm going to use this to do the rest of that to do that with. But anyways, I did use um, this red dye, and I did use some alcohol inks to dye my pieces of resin. So what this was, and I will show a before picture of what it was, Um, this clock was just, it was, it's plastic actually, and it was a dark, like, burgundy color, and this was gold all the way around here, and this is the dome that goes around the clock, and I had this vision of this looking like water and under the sea. I love doing nautical stuff, um, so what I did was I used the clear casting resin, and I filled this and just part of the dome and I do have a process video and I will link it or not link it I will add it at the end of this video to this in case you want to watch um, I'm gonna fast forward I'll try talking through it when I edit it just to explain some of the things that I did but I didn't fill this whole thing up because obviously the clock wouldn't work I just filled it to the to the flat part um, you'll see in the video. And then I added some resin pieces that I had made with the amazing casting resin, which is this. And these are all my little nautical things, my starfish, my octopus. And what I love is if you take a lighter to this when it's drying, it will pop the bubbles in here. And what I love is that I only took a lighter to, you know, just a, a little tiny bit to get kind of a little bit more of the foam off. But I love the bubbles in here. I mean, there's a bubble there. But look, there's a bubble in the octopus's eyes. I don't know if you can see that. I will zoom in. And you can see that. Focus. I'm sorry. I thought it would focus. There you go. So see that? Isn't that so cool? The little bubbles in his eyes. And of course there's a bubble here. I mean it just looks like that he is floating up. And I did use pearls around to make it look more, you know, more like bubbles. Um, so anyways, I just had to point that out. And the clock does work. You can see it is ticking. Which was, you know, a challenge to get it. So I didn't add too much resin here so the clock couldn't turn. I did have to, and you'll see in the video, I did have to layer the clock piece in the back with some chipboard underneath it so it sat back a little more. But you'll see that in the video. So I did use my Tilda the Seaside paper pad and I used the bird here and here and then her right here. And I just think she's so cute. But the other things I did was the cheesecloth, and of course there's resin pieces all over this because I just love working with the resin pieces. I am like so addicted to molding anything that I can find. I even mold charms, and most of these that you see, these little tiny things, were probably charms that I molded. I just, I just, I don't know, I just like, I love working with the resin, and um, anyways, so... There's cheesecloth here, like I said, and then there's some flowers that I had in my stash. Um, I'll zoom in this corner so you can see. Sorry, this is so wobbly. But there's some flowers that I had in my stash, and I used some Lindy's um, Stamp Gang spray 
on here um, some t just to give it some more blue color there's a wooden bike here there's pearls there's real seashells that I gotten at the beach there's a charm here this is just corrugated cardboard that I used to make it look like it was the you know a fence by the ocean and then over here there's more charms this is a bottle that I had and I had put sand in it and I walnut inked or walnut yeah it's walnut ink I did the edges of it and then I wrapped it with some twine and tied it and I think that looks really cool and then over here I love this little corner oh my goodness um, I did the same thing with the cheesecloth and some stones and a flower that I had in my stash and some more seashells and some more resin pieces and there's a little lighthouse back there and some pearls and of course more of that corrugated cardboard and then this piece here I love this sign piece it's actually chipboard um, but I had used I had another paper stash that had these they were little tags that had these the shore going that way paradise going that way and the ocean going that way and I just thought that looked really cool because I have this little resin lighthouse there so you know the lighthouse is always by the water and then underneath just underneath the dome there is a piece of um, scrapbooking paper that's um, it's sand and I just think it looks so 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 cool I mean, it, it looks like the bottom of the sea. And, you know, all I did was painted it. Um, I painted um, with gesso and then the blue paint. And then I just used my uh, ink pad, my white ink pad, and just went over and gave it some, you know, a little bit of white brushing here and there just to lighten up the, the blue. So the back I didn't do anything too. I left it actually, I left it black and it has the opening here so I can change the battery. So this is my d guest design team project for amazing crafting, amazing casting products and I hope you all like it. I will leave links down below to their website, to their blog. Go check out their blog and these amazing crafters that they have um, on their blog. You might find a lot of inspiration there for using this resin product. So thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a great day.
Here I'm just checking to see how far back I have to move the clock pieces so that when I get finished with the dome that it'll actually fit and the clock hands will turn. I'm just checking here to see what resin pieces I have that I can use on this project. Here I'm just mixing up the two-part resin and dyeing them different colors and pouring them in the molds. I'm getting my dome ready so that I can pour my clear casting resin in and add my other resin pieces to it. I decided I needed more fishies so I got some charms out and I'm mixing the two part mold putty to mold some charms so that I can have some fishies in the little dome tank that I'm making.
it seems I've lost some footage of adding some of these things onto this clock, but you get the general idea of, you know, playing around with the resin pieces and moving them around. I didn't realize I was so off camera here, but all I'm doing is cutting the piece of paper and rolling it up and walnut staining the edges of it and wrapping the twine around it so that I can put it inside the sand bottle. <laughs> 